I think I'm an optimist and I do like to look at things, um, the glass half full. I always like to have a positive message or a positive saying and um, a lot of the ideas that I come up with are kind of things I overhear in conversations. I'm really interested in how people communicate to one another and a lot of times we use these short cliches that everyone understands immediately as soon as you say them. So kind of when I overhear something, I jot it down in here and then I'll um, kind of sketch out how I think the type should be laid out. I only have a few fonts um, in my own personal library. Sometimes when you have too many choices, uh, it's hard to make a decision. Originally, I'm a graphic designer, and I've always been interested in topography and the history of type and where it came from. With letterpress printing, the process is definitely very tactile, and it does take a really long time to set everything up and get it perfect. I do spend a lot of time making sure the alignment is right on the paper, making sure the text is centered, making sure the space and the tracking and the letting is all even. So it's a lot of uh, testing and measuring and it does really slow you down and teach you to be patient. There's just a real craft to it and once you get it going it's so satisfying to have put something together with your hands. For me, I'm quite a stickler with negative space and the alignment, um, so I'll spend all day making sure, you know, everything's perfect. At the end of the day, sometimes it's, it's never going to be perfect because it is this old-fashioned printing style, but um, there's something special with a bit of ink on paper and something that's handmade over than something that's digital and uh, printed just on a regular printer.